What's up, Rectech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comments section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Do, do, do. do. You sing it? Do, do, do. What's that say? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rectech lifestyle. Do, do, do. M&M cookies, <laughs> candied bacon, everything delicious, cooking on Father's Day. It will be. It Do we have an intro? I think I asked that no. last time. No, we're just straight up live. No, we're just straight up live though? Straight up live. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Episode 99. I forget. Like every day. Um, but yeah, hey guys, it is uh, episode 99. It's the 14th of June. Uh, this is our special Father's Day episode. Absolutely. What you looking at, big dog? I think he's, I think he's eyeing that steak. I think so too. He's got a big appetite. Yeah. 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 It's Flag Day. I know. We're excited. It's Flag Day. Uh, it's also National New Mexico Day. So thank you to everyone out there that's Absolutely. watching us from New Mexico. Make sure you put that in the comment section. We'll be sure to give you an extra special thank you. Um, but uh, this is our Father's Day episode. Yeah. Uh, we're very very excited to have. Uh, some helpers here today. And we've got we got more helpers on the way too. So oh yeah, I think we got a couple more people coming showing up a little bit later. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm it's excited. Fun. It's good to have fun. the kids here. It's kind of stressful. It's kind of sweaty. Well, it's kind of you know you uh. everybody lives the rec tech <laughs> lifestyle a little different, right? Yeah. And absolutely. in like two years, he's going to be a grilling machine. Like yeah. I can't wait to see John Dillon on the kids' Q circuit out there. He's going to be crushing some burgers. He's going to be crushing something. I don't know if it's going to be burgers. But um, I mean, we we cook with we cook with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> we cook with kids at the house all the time. There's That's not a right. safer grill out there for them to use. Yep. Uh, the summer, the boys will be cooking on the grills. It's perfectly safe. I wouldn't give that kid matches and lighter fluid. No, because I once not. was 14 with matches and lighter fluid. It ain't going to happen. That's right. That's but he right. can turn the grill off and, on, off and on from his phone and uh, cook some great food. That way, when I come home after a day of work, he can make me He's already got it done already for you. Got to. Um, but uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to learn how to win a Rec Tech prize pack, this entire episode is going to be uploaded to YouTube on Monday. Make sure you watch that entire episode, and then you can learn how to win a Rec Tech prize pack. Mm -hmm. Last week's winner was uh, Mr. Uh, Sean Farrell. Congratulations, Congratulations Sean. Sean. Good job. Clap, clap. Uh, but yeah, Sean, uh, please email Maidline, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E, -E, at rectechgirls.com. Uh, that's Madeline. She will get that prize pack headed right out there Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it is our Father's Day episode. Of course, all dads like steaks. Who uh, doesn't like a good piece of meat? I'm just saying, like these are good looking steaks. These things look absolutely amazing. We're doing tomahawks, we're doing T-bones, mm -hmm. and we're doing porterhouses. Yep. Uh, of course, uh, Chef Greg's gonna uh, we'll, dissect them all for us. We'll, we'll uh, tell you all about uh, them and how the best way it. to do them. Absolutely. But again, our, our couple sous chefs will get introduced. This is Miss Blair Blackburn, uh, it's George's daughter. So if you're coming into the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters at 2004 Westside Drive, right here in Augusta, Georgia, I guarantee George has probably loaded a bag of pellets or two in, yep. your, uh, in your car. This is his fantastic daughter. She is an artist. She's killing it, man. I mean, they're out there drawing some awesome pictures. Of course, you guys have seen Isabel a couple times making uh, some good food at the house, and then my older boys, uh, Isaac and Andrew. But again, we got our porterhouses, our T-bones, and our cowboy ribeyes. We've done cowboy ribeyes before, and we're yeah. actually going to reverse sear these. So we'll season these up. We'll put them on the grill at 225 degrees. We will take that platinum tip probe, put it right in the middle of that eye, and we'll cook this for about 90 minutes to about um, you know, two hours until we hit an internal of 120 degrees. We'll take it off, and then we will sear it. And that this will feed uh, two people or one teenager. Man, okay? that thing is huge. Now you have two other steaks here that look kind of similar, but not really. So these are going to be, uh, are both considered T-bones. So if you notice, uh, you have the bone here and straight down. And what differentiates these between the porterhouse and the T-bone is uh, two things. Um, one, this the porterhouse can typically be a little bit larger. You'll notice this muscle here is your filet mignon, or your beef tenderloin. Um, now the downside, when you have a porterhouse, you have a larger filet mignon. But your strip steak, your New York strip steak here, has kind of a vein or a sinew running in the middle of it. So you get a better value here, but a not so good eating steak here. Now your traditional T-bone has a smaller filet and a nicer New York strip. So on the cow, these are gonna sit kind of like this. This steak here is gonna be more towards the middle of the animal. Okay. This is gonna be more towards the rear. Yeah. So you gotta pick your poison. Do you want better filet and not so good uh, New York strip? 
or do you want one or two bites of delicious with the uh, nicer strip steak? Yeah. And the challenge here too is with that bone in there, it's going to cook a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. And these steaks are, are nice; they're two inches thick. Um, I might not reverse sear these. No, I might just I might just go hot and fast. Me. Uh, usually, what, what we usually recommend, if anything's over two inches, yep. do a good reverse sear on. Now, if you want to reverse sear this bad boy here, I would definitely do that. But you got to keep it simple. So, so what we're gonna, size is that, Chef Greg? Uh, this is a three-pound tomahawk steak. Oh, awesome! So, girls, you want to go ahead and put some heifer dust on there? And Miss Miss Blair, I'll give you. Uh, you want a little of uh, the? Let's do. Where is it? Let's do a little dirty girl. You don't want to make it. So, Bella, you want to go ahead and season it up with the? Uh, mm. And Ben's pepper dust is uh, salt, pepper, garlic, paprika. There you go. Good job. It's got some great, That's great seasonings in there. It's and we'll kind of rub that in. Kind of beef. Blair, you want to put a little of the uh, Bloody Mary rub on the top? Don't sleep on that Ron's Espresso Joe rub. Oh, that's, that's delicious. That's also very, very good. good. Do the same thing, guys? Um, Flip it over. You might use that on vegetables as well. That kick in espresso is great on pork chops. That's good, Button. Um, good on pork chops. I love it on a, we did a roasted corn the other day, mm -hmm. and that ancho powder and that grilled corn was really good. Yeah, no, that roasted um, corn the other day was and absolutely amazing. How about a little bit on the top? Well, guys, I want to remind you uh, about uh, Win One for Dad. We have Perfect. the Win One for Dad contest. Um, you can win you yourself and your dad. You can win actually two grills. So uh, the two grills that we're giving away are going to be the Stampede RT590 and then the Wild Side A850. Both of those grills are up for grabs. And this is the first contest where we're allowing multiple entries. Don't test that, buddy. Again, we are allowing multiple entries on this contest. Go to the Facebook page as well as the Instagram. Make sure you like the post. Make sure you share the post. And make sure you tag as many people possible. Every one of those is a separate entry. We are allowing multiple entries to these contests. Again, make sure you go to our Facebook page and win one for Dad. Jordan, when will we be announcing the winner? Father's Day. Father's Day will be announcing the winner, so that would be an awesome gift to give your dad. And heck, you might not even, you don't even have to give it to your dad. Just, uh, but don't tag him because he's going to be mad if you win and you don't give it to him. But make sure, guys, we're allowing multiple entries. Hey, you stop. Um, we're allowing multiple entries on this contest. This is the first time ever. Make sure you go to our Facebook page. Like, share, and tag. Golly. All right, all right. Let's get this steak on. Come on, Country Club. Look at this. Look at the size of that. That's a three-pound tomahawk steak. Let's go ahead and put it on the uh, yeah, give you a cookie Bull here. RT700. This is how, anywhere you want to put it, buddy. Now, cooking with this grill doesn't get any easier. Why? Because we're going to monitor this cook on the phone. So we're going to take that probe, and I'm gonna basically going to put it right in the middle of that eye. <laughs> this is a platinum tip probe, it goes right into the grill, or the, the meat easily. And that's gonna go uh, take a nap for about 90 minutes to two hours. What internal temperature are we looking for when we pull it off, Chef? We're looking for about 120, 125 degrees, because we're gonna sear that off and it's gonna be uh, medium rare at that point. Very cool. Um, but again, I can sit down, I can go by the pool, I can play around to golf, I can drink some beer, we can have a uh, virgin margarita with mm -hmm. the kids. Doesn't get any easier than that. Girl does all the work. That's right. Because and Father's that, Day, do what you want. That's right. That smart girl technology, PID algorithm, uh, allows you to do uh, any and everything that you want. It's going to hold that temperature good and strong for you. Don't forget, uh, when we go off the air here, we go live on Twitter. We'll be back at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Noon. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us for our Father's Day episode of Fun Day Friday. Mm -hmm. We'll all see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. M&M cookie time. Do, do, do. Good job, ladies. John Dillon Wild. Do, do, do. Don't throw up any cookies, boy. We're going to sing it? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do, do. Rec tank lifestyle. Crispy bacon, perfect noodles, blue cheese and onions. Onions. Mm. White sauce, sauce alfredo. I should not. I will stick to cooking. Yes, guys, this is week 99. This is our Father's Day episode. We are live here Funday Friday at the worldwide headquarters of Rectech Grills in beautiful Augusta, Georgia. And we are blessed today with the presence of a lot of younger folks today. Um, so please bear with us. Um, I know mine's acting a fool, but these are doing good. Dude, he is drawing some very, uh, I'm trying to think of the some abstract scary art. Pic abstract scary art. pictures. Scary, but it's like the pictures, pictures of like the kids that that paint and it's all abstract. That stuff goes for thousands of dollars. So I mean, I'm just saying he might just right, be. Okay. What's the I'll word when like payment in any form? Uh, checks, cash. What's the word when like the kids just have like a, like an, an untrained talent? Um, Phenom. Or no, it's uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, come on, Jordan. What's the word? Gifted. 
Well, yes, gifted. <laughs> It'll come to me later on. But I think all kids. I think all. It's like like a prodigy, or you know, they, they just gifted. sit down and like play Mozart with ever being trained. I mean, he could be like an undiscovered Picasso. I'm just saying. Man, I'd love to sit at home on the couch and do nothing. That'd be great. Go fishing. Yeah. Go fishing. But I wonder, before we get started, I do want to remind you guys about our Win One for Dad contest. Do not forget about that. Don't sleep on it. You got two more days to enter. Um, go to the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page first. Uh, the um, post is pinned at the top. That way it's very easy for you to find. Make sure you like it, make sure you share it, and make sure you tag all of your friends in it. Each and every time you do that, it is a separate entry. Yes, we are allowing multiple entries to these contests. You have the chance of winning two grills, not just one grill. Not just one and a half grills, but two grills. Two. Uh, the Stampede RT 590 and then the Wild Side A850. Both of those grills are absolutely would look absolutely amazing on your back porch. Uh, so don't sleep on this. Make sure you share it. Share it into groups that you're part of. Uh, share it with everybody that you know. That way everybody could have a chance to win uh, because what dad wouldn't want the either one of these grills on their back porch? Absolutely. I mean, you're going to step your, uh, look at this way. Every time you get invited over for dinner, you know the food's going to be that much better. That's right. Because if, if the kids can cook and we can take a day off, it's going to be delicious. Absolutely. Absolutely. But what so, are we doing right now, Chef Greg? So let's go ahead and make a blue cheese and bacon penny mac and cheese. Ooh. So now we got the BFG loaded up with some scalloped potatoes and some regular macaroni and cheese. We got some really rich, beefy steaks. We're going to make more of a, uh, a dad-sized snack. So we've got some uh, penny noodles we, we cooked off. Um, they are perfectly salted and nicely boiled. Um, you can eat them a little al dente. We took a couple onions, caramelized those with about 400 cloves of garlic. And then we made a uh, cream sauce. And the cream sauce is just some heavy cream with some uh, garlic, butter, a little bit of roux. Mm, garlic, butter, and A little roux, heifer dust huh? and freaking Greek. And um, Jody made bacon this morning, the only way he knows how, on the grill mat with... Uh, honey rib rub and this is going to be like the most decadent oh, macaroni and oh lord ladies look at that that is just sloppy i don't know how you kids like them sloppy <laughs> you guys want to uh, grab the spoon and stir it up we'll start right there yeah there you go blair good job so basically it's Thank like an alfredo so sauce and this is going to be more like a you know cheesy macaroni and if you don't want to do a bigger pan like this you can do it on the stove top um but again cooking on the uh the rec tech gives your food a really nice, sweet flavor to it. Yeah, um, if you didn't want to add this blue cheese, Chef Greg. So uh, I actually, I, I, I kind of despise blue cheese. <laughs> I won't use the H word because there's kids present, but I really don't like blue cheese. But when it's cooked, I'll eat this all day long. But like Stevie Fredericks would grab that thing of blue cheese and just mow down. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm. So I was hoping uh, Sawyer would have joined us, uh, Stevie's youngest. Oh, yeah, but Stevie's going on vacation. Yep. So, how did, uh, so we cooked that bacon uh, in the BFG uh, on the cooking mat. We did 375, about 380 degrees until it was uh, done how we like it. Usually it takes me about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, some people like their bacon a little bit flimsy. Blair, how do you like your bacon? Do you like it hard or soft? Soft? Like that's that? Right. Like that's the perfect piece right there? These kids want another that. piece? You can have that, sweetie. These kids are mowing down on this bacon. There's nothing wrong. If you have picky eaters, I'm just telling you, cook it on a Rectech. What did you and mommy make on the Rectech yesterday? Or two days ago? Banana bread. What'd you use with bananas for? <laughs> banana bread. She made banana, banana bread. Banana bread. So I love banana I'm bread. I'm not even home, you know, the chef of the family, and they're using the Rectech. They're using the Rectech to make banana bread. Man, Was it good? Awesome. Was it good? Yeah. Did you eat it all up? Almost. Almost? Mm. So if you got picky eaters, hey, oh, hey, John Dillon's back. Hey, cook baby. food on the rec tech. What is that? Bacon. Do you like bacon? Don't bacon. You want some bacon, John Dillon? You want some no. bacon? No. 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 Okay. Okay. I'll All right. It. Yeah. Can Daddy have some? But we got the BFG set at 350 degrees. Don't worry, I got them, everybody. And this will take about a half hour. Let me see your pumpkin. Bacon. You want bacon? Okay, we'll put you down and go to mommy, okay? There you go. Hey. Mama. Thank but these will take about 30 minutes. Um, again, that sauce isn't super hot. And this is going to be all like gooey and melty and amazing. I think we'll probably put a little bit more sauce on the top and let, it, let top. it just... I like that. Let's uh, smear it down. Let it drown. There you go. 
And then we're going to use the uh, BFG, the RT2500 available at rectechgrills.com. That thing has 2,500 square inches of cooking surface. When we set it uh, to a specific temperature, that uh, smart grill technology PID algorithm is going to hold it good and tight for us. It's got a 53 pound hopper, so it's going to get you through almost two days of cooking if you it's really truly wanted it. It's crazy. But thinking of two days of cooking, you're going to need about 400 friends to eat all this food. That's right. Come on over here, country. So cooking with your kids, it doesn't have to be complicated. We raided the uh, deli section of the grocery store. We got some macaroni and cheese and scalloped potatoes. If you want to be uh, lazy like us, go ahead and just uh, get it already pre-made. It's Father's Day. So again, you can fit uh, three pans on the bottom, front to back, or two left and right. You can fit three more pans in the middle. And if we had that third rack, you could fit two more pans. But we're only using like two thirds of this grill. That's right. That's it. Yep, and it usually comes with an extra rack. We got that down here uh, inside of our storage area. Uh, that's in our competition cart. Remember the competition cart and front folding shelf come standard on this model. Uh, you don't have to pay extra for it or anything like that. How long are we gonna let that go, Chef Greg? About 30, 35 minutes till it's golden brown and bubbly. And here's something for everybody to remember. Uh, although we love these disposable aluminum pans, they don't do a good job conducting the heat. So if you're going to use a metal pan that's maybe got a non-stick coating on there, that is going to cook a little bit faster. Absolutely. So if you guys are used to using your oven at the house for lasagna and glass pans or metal pans and you're converting to these aluminum pans, uh, increase the temperature by about 15 degrees okay. and add about 5% cooking time to compensate because again, that pan's not going to get hot. That's right. And a lot of what conducts that heat into the food is going to be that actual metal pan as well. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you read recipes, it'll say if you're using a dark uh, non-stick, you know, cookie sheet or whatever, you know, reduce the time or the temp, that's exactly why, because it's going to suck that heat into the grill or into the food a little bit faster. But about 30, 35 minutes on that, we've got our tomahawk steaks oh, on the Can Bull RT700. Can they peek and see it? Yeah, I mean, I know if you're looking, you ain't cooking, but let's look. Again, these are going to take about 90 minutes to come Holy up to temp. Cow. Those are seasoned with the uh, Bloody Mary rub and the heifer dust. And we want to spend a, send a special shout out to our friends at uh, Cow Cattle Company. Mm -hmm. You guys go to cowsteaks.com. That's K O W steaks.com. Right. And you can get uh, any assortment of beef. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. The marbling. And they got Father's uh, Day packs. They got really good. If you don't want to, you know, spend a, a fortune on a brisket, and it's not, it's like 150 bucks. They have some really good um, bratwursts. You can get some uh, Kobe um, sirloin steaks that look amazing. Yeah, so I'm not going to lie, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap myself out. I mailed my dad some. Uh, some cow cattle company steaks. So I know he's not watching because he doesn't have Facebook, um, but enjoy your steaks, buddy. I'm just saying. Yeah. And uh, gift certificates make a great gift mm -hmm. for dad. Uh, go to rectechgrills.com. If you haven't gotten him anything, you got two days. Sunday yep. is Father's Day. If you're just now figuring this out, just go to rectechgrills.com. Go ahead and grab that gift certificate. Just go ahead and cross them off the list. Yep. Uh, that's the easiest and simplest way. Um, but uh, thank you guys again for joining us. Don't forget when we go off the air here, we go live on Twitter. And if you're seeing us on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, watching us. Make sure you subscribe and check out the next videos we got coming coming up. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you at about 12:30 Eastern Standard. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Red tag lifestyle. Style. You guys say do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Red tag lifestyle. That's awesome. I mean, Ron was here the other day talking about how the Red Tech family has grown. Our, our cast for Fun Day Friday is, is growing every segment. This is every fantastic. Second, literally every second. So uh, this segment, we welcome a couple guest hosts. We've got Miss Sadie and Bryce. Bryce is our, one of our IT managers here, keeping our, our computers and phones operational. We appreciate that. And then um, Miss Blair has been with us from the beginning, but we, uh, we stole George from up front. So we uh, have a lot of fun. And we got Colton and Ray with us as well. Colton tried to have the day off today, but he's got to cook his dad lunch. We are not going to let him cook, have the day lunch. off. So, um, so we're going to be cooking on the bullseye. We got the bullseye screaming hot with a sear kit. We're like 650 degrees in that bad boy, burning the ultimate blend pellet, red oak, white oak, and hickory. Absolutely. It is ready just to, to grill the delicious steak. I'm just saying. Mid rare, buddy. Got to. Yeah. Miss Sadie, what, what's your favorite thing to eat on a Rectech? Mommy or daddy cook some really good food on there? Like steak and fish, potatoes? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Bryce, you a are you a porterhouse guy or are you a ribeye guy? I'm a ribeye kind of guy. You're a ribeye guy. You like a lot of spinalis. Bring it on. So, this is probably the the second best ribeye in the bunch because I'm not gonna lie, we ate one yesterday. 
But this piece here is gonna be your ribeye cap or your spinellus. That's gonna be your eye. This is the most delicious piece right here. This is gonna be the first through the six steaks cut from the uh, rib end on the ribeye is gonna have uh, noticeably more spinellus. So I think this is gonna be a great steak. Miss Sadie, you wanna take it over to Mr. Jody? We can season it up for, for dad for you. And you guys are gonna cook that steak. Yes, we will put a little bit of stuff on A little on heifer dust. A little I can flip it over. Because you always want to do both sides. Got to do both sides. Got to do both sides. Good job. Miss Blair, you know what kind of steak Daddy likes? Is he like a porterhouse or a ribeye? What kind of steak does he like? Ribeye. A ribeye. Ooh. 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 She knows. Gosh. Sous chef in training here. I'm thinking let's go. Does that one look like a good one for Daddy or does he need a different one? That one looks good. That one looks good. Again, really big spinalis. All of that marbling on the inside, that's what's gonna give you a nice, delicious, moist steak, guys. All right? Ooh, so when nice. you're looking at the meat counter, all of that fat inside that muscle, that's what's gonna make something super tasty. Yeah. There you go, Ms. Blair. Mr. Jody will help you with the seasonings. I'll hook you up with all right, some seasonings, Ms. Blair. Don't screw it up now. Hmm. Porterhouse, ribeye, what kind of steak? A good ribeye. A good ribeye? For sure. All right, so I know if I don't pick a good one, I'm gonna get fired here, right? Let's, uh, let's find a Maybe. nice, Look at that one. That one looks pretty nice. Is that a nice marbling there? I think so. I think so. That looks absolutely amazing. Good pick, Colden. Good, Good job. job. Thank you. Good job. And of course, we'll season Ray's steak with his own personal seasoning. I mean, can I get some help with it? Can I? Yeah. God, I, man, it would be an honor, buddy. Before. You don't want any steak? Okay. Good job, Colden. You guys want to go ahead and put it on the Flip it over, okay, buddy? Okay, okay. <laughs> man, good job, my man. Georgia Bryce, if you guys want to go ahead and have your kids assist you put them on the bullseye. Now, I think I've got the most kids up here right now, yeah. so I get three steaks for lunch. <laughs> three. Wow. Um, and we're gonna sell these steaks to the highest bidder up front. So if any of the Rec Tech employees right. up front, if you guys want lunch today, you gotta see me because they're cooking some steak. Good job, Sadie. All right, let's put Big Daddy on a steak. Here, wanna go oh, wow. that one up? Yes. I'm a season. And again, uh, this was a whole uh, prime rib, correct, Chef? Yeah, we bought this at uh, at Sam's Club yesterday. Uh, oh, we spent about $120. Good we job, cut Blair. 22 steaks out of this. Careful, so, Colton, it's hot. Careful, oh, buddy. It's hot, buddy. Careful, don't buddy. Don't we get too close? Well, just, just be careful, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Sanitation, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Pick up uh, Rectech Nitrile gloves, use your tongs, oh, keep your hands man. nice and clean. Good job, Colton. Yeah. So these are about an inch thick. They'll take probably three minutes, then we'll rotate them to get those beautiful hash marks and then flip it over, and those steaks should be medium rare. Everybody requested a medium rare ribeye today. Um, what temperature is medium rare, Chef? Uh, between 133 and 135 degrees would be medium rare. Would you want to leave a, a probe in these the whole time, or would you rather uh, have like an instant read thermometer? You know what, for me, I would rather have the bullpen instant read thermometer, which is available at rectechgrills.com. If you guys haven't gotten your dad anything awesome for Father's Day yet, we're at 2004 West Side Drive. We're here until 7 o'clock It's not tonight. too late. It's not too late. We're here tomorrow. We are open on Saturday from 9 o'clock until 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Come on down. Bring Dad with you. Bring a big old pickup truck. Bring an SUV because you might come for that bullpen, but you're leaving with the bull. I'm just That's saying. Right. And we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at RecTechGrills.com. If you haven't got your dad anything, a gift certificate. You know, he can actually pick out his own yeah. gift. You're not going to ruin his day. Uh, but if you want to win your dad a grill, don't forget about Win One for Dad. We're having our Win One for Dad contest both on our Facebook as well as our Instagram. The only way that you can enter is to like that post, share that post, and tag, and tag your friends and family in it. Each time you do that, it's a separate entry. We are allowing uh, multiple entries, and you can literally enter this contest a thousand times if you wanted to. We would encourage you to share it a thousand times, uh, but also go over to the Instagram, do the same thing. Like, share, and tag that bad boy. And you can win two of the best grills on the market. Absolutely. The Stampede RT uh, 590, that grill is a rock star. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the baddest of the bad. I'm sorry, that wild side. Allows me to uh, fulfill my primal urge to just, make fire. Just getting the wood just putting it in there, getting that fire started, rolling that smoke, seeing that flames come off of that grate. I'm not gonna lie, I was watching the Memphis in May uh, promo footage. 
You guys had the uh, the baby goats oh, on man, there. They were absolutely amazing. Am and this weekend in Denver, Colorado, at the Denver Barbecue Fest, they're actually going to be cooking a whole alligator on that bad boy. Guys, if you are anywhere near Denver, make a trip there. It's going to be worth it. We got a lot of rec techers going out there. The shed's going to be out there. Uh, a lot of uh, top name pit masters are going to be making food for absolutely thousands of people. Uh, so the, the wild sides will be making an appearance. Uh, but again, you can use charcoal. You can use lump. You can use briquettes, you can use whole logs, you can use any type of fuel in that grill, anything that makes a fire, you can put it in that stainless steel chamber and cook away in it. Oh, I think man. it's time, I think we gotta flip some steaks, oh, We're man. gonna flip some steaks. You gotta rotate. Here. Right. Ready? Ready? Woo! Wow. Look at that, look at that sear mark right man, there. those look great. Bryce, how do you like your steak? You like medium rare, rare? Medium rare is perfect. There you go. Now, if you guys wanna get that hash mark, you just take that steak and rotate it 90 degrees. George says he didn't care about Look at that. that. He just likes to. There you go. The All right, Colden, <laughs> come on. Right. You got to. You got. You got to make Ray and I, I think Ray wants a nice hash mark. So go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees. All right. That do. That'll yeah, work. That'll work. Bart'll do. That a boy, Colden. Here, let me see, buddy. We got to. That's the C that and Rec Tech, everybody. Colden Carnes, making an appearance. But again, in like. Four minutes, those steaks are going to be perfect. Put them on a plate. Hey, Country Club, check out all of our sides. Are those my steaks? Yeah. Ooh, oh, wow. Is those look great. Are, are you guys burger. trying to, like, uh, you know, get something good this summer? Because that's a nice filet right there. And I'm just saying. Right. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Let's if, check if, out these sides and see how they're progressing. Oh, wow. So we got nice and bubbly, bubbly mac and cheese. We've got our scallop potatoes. And then this is uh, our blue cheese mac and cheese. Ooh, Look wow. at how good that looks right there. That looks great. All bubbly, full of bacon. The bacon looks absolutely amazing. I just want to make sure it tastes good for everybody else. But these will be done here in just a minute. And, and this, this is the uh, the BFG, affectionately, we call it the big freaking grill. The big fun grill, the big Flanagan grill. The big Whatever family you, grill. The big family grill. The big father grill. It's a good one. It's the big father grill. That's what we're going to call it today. But this is RT2500. This is available at rectechgrills.com. This thing is bad to the bone. Everybody that's been getting it has been commenting, uh, hit me up in my DMs saying, man, this thing is a tank. You got Absolutely. three cooking shelves, right? Yep, we are missing a shelf in here. It's mm -hmm. actually uh, in the storage area in the uh, competition cart down there. It can also be the best father grill. So if you have a great father grill, make sure you guys check out rectechgrills.com. That's what that stands for, best father grill best right there. So get your dad something ever. awesome. And don't forget, we're doing the win one for dad where you can win a wild side and a stampede. Not just one grill, but two grills. Guys, we'll be coming back. Uh, make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we go live, we'll be coming back. Uh, we'll be tasting some food. And don't forget, when we go off there here, we're going live on Twitter. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech lifestyle. That's awesome. Good job, everybody. Be grilling some Gosh. steaks. Be grilling some steaks. Yummy. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So our mascot is a bull, but we got dinosaurs. Yeah, that's a brontosaurus. Dad? Mm. Clearly. Right? I mean, my kids have educated me on the... It's a daddy It's a daddy It's a daddy It's a daddy That is just... Gosh. Say, so, um, hey guys. Do y'all know how to make a tissue dance? You I just, do not. You just put a little boogie in it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's a daddy Saurus joke. Man, all I know is looking at that porterhouse, I'm just staring at that strip steak and that filet mm -hmm. that these fine young folks Man, cook they for did us. such a great job, buddy. I'm excited to eat it. I'm not going to lie. You should be proud. I'm excited of the, to eat it. Of the, of the small adults that you're raising. It's great because now, not only can they cook me dinner, oh, gotcha. they can clean it up, they can take the trash out, they can put their laundry away, they can vacuum clean the house. I can sit back Man. and enjoy it. So I've got, Get about where did you start that? Uh, eight, nine? S six. She six. made banana bread the other day. Wow. So I've got four Mushing more years. Mushing up the bananas with to the. To like prepare myself to be. I mean, she was wearing the nitrile gloves, mushing up the bananas That's for the right. banana bread. Blair, do you do? Uh, do you have any chores at home that you do for daddy and mommy? Not yet. Not oh, yet. she's so lucky. Close. Blair did want to say hey to mommy. Uh, Blair, did you want to say hey to mommy? Say thank you so much for letting me come here today. No, you no. don't want no. to. Okay. No. <laughs> you guys thank want to say so hello to mom? Letting us have her. You want to say hello to mommy? She's mom. at work. Hello, mommy. There you go. That's right. 
She's got a dinosaur. She's got a dinosaur. So this this Sunday, He's good. what are you gonna? I'd have them do it. We got we got people here to do that. Uh, Go ahead and flip the steaks, uh, guys. Come I on. I think uh, I think they're, they're probably ready. To Put come them on. to work. So this Sunday, what are you uh, what are you gonna make? What what's on what's on the docket for you on Sunday? So I requested uh, to sleep in. Uh, and, and instead of somebody cooking something for me, I, I just wanted to cook for everybody. That's what I wanted to do. So um, it's a toss up. It's either going to be a prime rib mm -hmm. um, or it's uh, we're probably going to do maybe some rotisserie chickens. I don't know. I'm torn between something on the wild side. That's that, yeah. Or a low country smoke on the bowl, like crab legs, oh, shrimp, potatoes, yeah. and sausage. I didn't even think about that, but uh, but know. I'm sure we'll take a poll between okay. you know uh, my dad, my stepdad, and we'll figure out what they want. Um, so I did want to sp send a special shout out to my dad Dylan. I love you to death. Thank you so much. Uh, he's actually going to watch John Dylan because we took him out of daycare to, to make a, an appearance, and there is no way in the world that he's going to allow us to put him back into daycare. Um, After so thank you so much, Dad. Uh, and then uh, I want to sp send a special shout out to my stepdad DJ. I love you to death. Thank you so much. Um, we love you. Greg? Yeah, I want to thank my dad out there for all of the fun times. We used to travel a good bit, uh, going to weekend trips for playing hockey all across the southeast. It was fantastic. Every Friday night, we'd go to a steakhouse, and we'd have a steak dinner oh. um, each and every Friday night for the better part of the year. But I'm ready to dive into this. Dive on in, Let's bottle. go for it, guys. All right, so let's see how they did. So this, is that, this is that porterhouse and that flaming <coughs> Look at that. Nice and medium rare. Man, that looks That's delicious. cooked to perfection. So that, uh, we, we look for about an internal of 130, 135 degrees. 135 degrees. degrees. Come on, Judy, get on in there. Yeah. A little uh, heifer dust and dirty girl. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. How did we do? So again, what is this part so of that, the... You guys did a fantastic job cooking that steak, by the way. This is going to be the filet mignon, and that that's going to be a strip steak. It's and got some good texture. The man. porterhouse and the T-bone are the same cut of meat, okay. just located at different sides, uh, uh, different lengths of that animal. Uh, the further back on the cow, you're going to have a larger fillet, and you're going to see a little bit more, they call it a vein, but it's more of a sinew and cartil um, sorry, silver skin inside of that uh, New York strip steak. But that right there is looking good. And then we've got mm. our blue cheese, mm. macaroni and cheese with bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Does that look good, Blair, or what? Look at how baby? like creamy and amazing that is. Mm. And I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese, but like this, I will uh, forgive my, forgo my frenulum. Yeah. Ooh, this smells great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's either Wednesday or Friday. I burn my mouth, but mm, that is delicious. That's actually really good. Really. And again, good. this uh, Chef Greg just simply made the noodles. Mm -hmm. uh, then he, we made um, the uh, sauce, mm -hmm. bacon and onions. We mixed it all together. We put it back on the uh, the BFG. Uh, the best father <laughs> grill. He can't get uh, any because he's it's Father's Day. <laughs> you eat <laughs> after I do, right? And we reheated it we, and, and allowed it to meld all together. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is super, super simple. Uh, when, when you're putting together a side, don't ever complicate it. You know, don't, don't uh, start thinking negatively yep. before you even make it. And if you're making pasta earlier in the week, cook an extra box. This is a great way to utilize leftovers. so, so easy. If you're making bacon for breakfast on Saturday, make it a little extra for Sunday. It's all about convenience. Utilize the entire cooking service of your grill and that way you're good to go. And then of course, you know what? We didn't want to do a bunch of work today. We didn't want to get over complicated. So we, we raided the deli section of our grocery store. We've got some scalloped potatoes and some macaroni and cheese. And again, cooking on the Rec Tech is all about family. It's That's all right. about convenience, versatility. I mean, 10 years of celebrating family, the Rec Tech family has grown leaps and bounds in the last 10 yeah. years. I can't wait for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years yep. and see how big the Rec Tech family can get. Congratulations, Ray and Ron. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a lot of people are, are trying to sweep it under the rug, but it is an absolute uh, testament to both of them how they built a company from nothing into hands down the best pellet grill company in America. And we thank you guys so much. Um, we are approaching, this is episode 99, guys. Episode 100 is gonna be next week. We've got a lot of awesome things planned. It's gonna, we're gonna blow your mind. There's gonna be pyrotechnics. There's gonna be uh, internet breaking food. We will be on location. Uh, I'm gonna call it right now at Ray's house, but we may be at Champions Retreat Golf Ooh. Club. Get it, get a but little, right uh, now we're gonna, yeah, a little golf. We might get a little golf in, but we we're, we're gonna make a day out of it, um, and it's gonna be uh, one of the best Funday Fridays 
ep episode ever. Episode 100. One episode, episode 100. Uh, we haven't missed one. Did ER have 100 episodes? I don't think so, I mean, man. Friends and Seinfeld might have. Yeah. But most shows out there don't make 100. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, they said I had something on Some my face. Some of the beard? Uh, something in my face. You got to get more in there, man. Uh, but yes, it is going to be an absolute amazing episode. Uh, so that is the one episode that we do not want you to miss because mm -hmm. we've got a lot of great announcements. We might also be giving some stuff away. We haven't you given never anything know. away on Funny Friday in a while, so you know uh, we're going to be giving away something on the 100th episode. I'm going to go ahead and lock us in for that. Cool. Uh, but don't forget about our Win One for Dad contest. It's actually Win Two. Well, win two for dad. You get a stampede one and for a yourself wild flag. and your dad. That's right. You get a chance to win two grills at once. We are allowing multiple entries, uh, so make sure that you like, share, and tag all your friends in it. Every time you do that, it's yep. going to be an entry. Um, that's on Facebook as well as Instagram. I'm being attacked by a brontosaurus. A datasaurus. A datasaurus. Man. Well, Miss Blair, Isabel, thank Isaac Andrew, thank you guys so for joining much. in. Thank you guys so much. You guys John did Dillon such a good job. came here and, and showed us. Uh, he's a he grill master in training. He showed out. Uh, it's his nap time and it's his lunch time. We took him out of daycare. And there wasn't enough cookies. Was I, I, I went to the store, I bought <laughs> some cookies, and we kind of we kind of ran out. Yeah. Time, time and temp on a dinosaur. How long do we cook him for? Mm, you didn't cook it. Uh, but if we were to cook a dinosaur on a BFG, how long? Maybe... I don't know, 10 hours, yeah. 225? 10 to, 12, 10 to 12 hours. So if you've got some brontosaurus out there in your freezer that needs to uh, get cooked, put it on a BFG, time and temp, 225, about 10 hours, that brontosaurus will be perfect. That's right. Pulling off the bone. If you guys are watching us on YouTube right now, make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, and check out the next video. Uh, we've got a lot of awesome, amazing content. Make sure you check it all out. Don't forget, when we go out there on here, we go live right on Twitter where Jordan Johnson is going to help us out. Uh, for happy Flag Day. Happy New Mexico Day, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, um, and for the and for the moms out there that have to be a father, uh, happy day to y'all as well. Absolutely. Uh, don't forget, mix it up Mondays every Monday with our boy John, six o'clock Eastern, uh, a mixologist from the local Augusta area. Don't forget, after hours every Wednesday, and me and this guy right here do a meal from start to finish in one episode. We uh, we talk to you live via the comment section. Uh, so don't forget, we've got a lot of amazing content. I mean, pick up the best father grill right here. I'm just saying. Yeah, guys, got to. Guys, the BFG RT 2500 is hands down going to be the best gift for dad. But if you're behind the eight ball, go to rectechgrills.com and get you a gift certificate right now. You can go ahead and cross your dad off the list. Uh, again, from this dad, from this dad to this dad, thank you guys so much for joining us. It means the world. Uh, have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. Cook Happy something Father's good on the Rec Tech. Happy Father's Day. Do, do, do. 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 Rec Tech Lifestyle. Give dad some food. Do, do, do. Look at this. Yeah, y'all get out of here. Get all this.